steps of genome analysis. Once the genome of any organism is sequenced, there are certain steps that how we can analyze the sequence data to get the information from the sequence data of the genomes. These are some of the steps which help us to understand the sequence genomes, in which the first step is usually genome sequence is assembled. Once the genome sequence is assembled, then we can identify the repetitive sequences. So repetitive se sequences can be identified once we have uh, assembled the genome sequence. Then we can do the gene prediction to train a model for each organism. By using the computer softwares or the bioinformatics tools, we can predict the genes from the sequence genomes. Then we can study about the ESTs as well as cDNA sequences. We can perform the genome annotations for identification of the genes to study the function of the genes and to characterize the genes which are present in the genomes. We can perform the microarray analysis based on the sequence genome. We can do metabolic pathways and regulations. We can perform protein 2D gel electrophoresis. We can study the functional genomics once we have sequenced the genomes. We can identify gene locations. We can perform the gene map once we have uh, sequenced the genome. We can do self-comparison of the proteomes between the proteome of one cell to another cell of the another organism. We can do the comparative genomics based on the sequence genome. We can identify uh, clusters of functionally related genes and we can study the evolutionary modeling. So once we have sequenced the genomes, we can study different things. We can get different information from the sequence genomes.